Um, I've been asked to demonstrate sewing um, a ham hot seam or a hot ham seam. Not quite sure which way around it is. I'm getting on, you know. Um, and to do that, you would use this on collars, cuffs, waist. And you'd be using a piece of French terry or stretch rib, um, quite often plain, so you don't know the right and wrong side. But for the demonstration, I'm going to use a, a piece of woven so you can see the right and wrong sides on it. Um, so it's quite easy and it's new to me, this method. Never done this before. Quite uh, pleased with finding this one out. So you pop your seams together on your cuff or your waistband or your collar, fold them in half, and then we're going to fold them again. So you've got your fold here and four edges here. Now I'm just going to use um, a zigzag on my standard machine. You can do this on an overlocker, works perfectly well. Um, and it's only for demonstration, so I'm not going to reverse or pin purely because I'm probably going to cut it off anyway to use the bit of fabric so I don't waste it. So I'm just going to cut this off on my ends. So this is what you've got. Obviously, if you'd used an overlocker, it would be overlocked. And then the magic happens. You just um, take your pieces to open it up as if you were opening your collar or cuff and snap it open and then all your seams disappear inside. I think that's really quite magic. I quite like this idea. I'll be using this a lot. So your little cuffs and things are all uh, ready to be uh, quartered, pinned, sectioned and popped on and uh, you don't have um, this horrible bulky seam. It's brilliant. Hope that's okay.